And we're back with another knife review. Today it's going to be a lower priced model called the Henan Rooster. This is actually quickly becoming one of my favorite fixed blade knives. And I'm going to uh, let you guys know why. Let's go ahead and show you what it looks like close up. As you can tell, it has a very clean look. All right, let's go ahead and uh, tell you a little bit about the knife. It is uh, nine inches overall. It has a four inch satin stainless blade. It's 440. It has a rounded spine with some jimping on the front and near the end of the extended tang blade. The scales are removable which are important if you're trying to clean the knife. It's got a drop point blade with a flat grind. It has a lanyard hole. And let's get to my favorite feature. It has what's called sculpted G10 handles. It's very difficult to see here, but each one of these are raised to give you a nice grip on the knife. Your hand is not going to slip. It takes a lot and it's not gonna chew up your hand when using it. It's a very beefy blade. It's about 1.2 for the belly of the blade. It's about 0.7 in the width. Comes with this little leather lanyard, which I kind of like. You can place your pinky in it. I like that. It gives you a good hold on the knife. But I would probably go ahead and replace this because this will end up getting broken probably anyway, especially out in the woods. This would be a great knife at $39. My next favorite part about this, I don't like to carry an expensive knife when hiking or especially a fixed blade because I lay it down. I'll be using it, I'll lay it down somewhere, and I'll forget to pick it back up and walk off without it. I like Bark River knives and, and those, but I don't like losing $200 knives. $39 knives don't make me as upset. But this is a high quality knife that will work really well for your design purpose. All right, let's go ahead and show you how it cuts. You can see it cuts cleanly and smoothly through the paracord. We'll do a pullback cut. Same thing there. cardboard over and we'll cut it. As you can tell it doesn't take any effort to slice off piece after piece of cardboard. Well let's go ahead and see how it cuts from the point. It cuts my board nicely. So it cuts pretty good for that but it's not the design purpose of it. Let's go ahead and show you how it works on spear cutting. This has a very wide, thick blade, so your control probably won't be as well as good. But that's not what this knife is designed for. But you can tell it cuts it anyway. It'll get the job done, especially at that price point. All right, so once again, this is the Hen and Rooster. Uh, I think the model is 002BL doesn't have a name. I'd like it if it did. But it's a 9 inch fixed blade with a stainless steel blade. Full tang, a little extended. G10 head, a handle. 
So for you guys that are watching on Instagram, make sure you follow Atlantic Knife and uh, like this post. And if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell. We have some uh, nice content and we do a weekly show that you either laugh at us or with us. Doesn't matter. On that note, I am C with Atlantic Knife signing off.